Welcome back to SimCity. As I said a little while ago, that we will be joining back into the game rather sporadically as soon as some new patches and updates start coming along. This is patch 6.0, so there's been quite a few since last time we've played. If this isn't anything major, next update will be really cool. We'll get into that a little bit later on. But this one added a whole new region again. The last one was Edgewater Bay, which we played around a bit in. But Granite Lake seems pretty cool. Seems quite challenging. So, got 10 cities. Two great work slots and the scenic lake features two distinct classes of cities. The mountainous upper half of the region provides breathtaking views of the lake below and a good variety of natural resources. The lower area below Granite Lake features sprawling city sites useful for large tourism cities. Now we'll be going ahead and building up in the smaller mountainous ranges because there's not really all that many mountainous places in the regions in SimCity. Let's call it Granite Lake. Because I'm original like that, aren't I? Let's also make this, might as well make this public. I'm not really sure how all that works, but whatever. And should we go ahead? No. Should we go sandbox? No, we won't. I'll go ahead and play this for about a week or so. Oh, cool. Here we go. It's an interesting great work slot. Wow, all of these places seem quite challenging. So these are the five mountain ones. These are the five much larger ones. So go over here. That seems quite difficult. Well, that's got no water in it. Lewis Landing. Uh, I always like looking at the names. Crockett Bend, Clark Landing, Carson Shores, and Boone. I'll go with uh, Lewis Landing. It's a new city with a bit of rail, lots of coal, lots of ore, no oil, a bit of water, and lots and lots of wind, as you'd expect up high. So, in patch 7.0, which is the one that's going to be coming after this, we're finally going to be able to go ahead and build bridges and overpasses and it's going to be much easier to build roadways like that. So we're going to be able to build like a road. I'll show you what I mean once we get into the game finally. It's been a long time since I've played this so I'm very much excited. I'll say there isn't really anything coming out in the middle of the year. I guess because holiday season is coming up and all the games are getting ready for that. and. They'll start coming out in about a week or the holiday season or the holiday season will start beginning the games for it at least because june july is always really boring wow it is really mountainous over here okay a closer look at the view Whoa. that's very steep you definitely wouldn't want to go down a zorb ball down there would you out into the ocean like in that little russian video in the alps the pe person actually died pretty sad anyways let's not be too negative nancy's i don't think there's anything too new apart from just this new region so let's go ahead and get a crack and shall we we'll go with the um, medium density avenue we'll do or now get a straight road let's see okay there's not really all that much that you can do we can build a bridge up to here but that's pointless isn't it this is going to be really challenging uh, what we should do is check out where we've got water oh god <laughs> okay okay so the water is literally on the hill that's no good and we've got a bit of it over here i have to try to figure this out also i think there will be some terraforming tools as well in the next update so they're definitely trying to change the game around from its really negative beginnings. Also, land value has been improved. I know that much. That's what I can remember. Let's go ahead and have a closer look at where there is resources are. So, coal is over here. It's a bit down below as well. Oh, oh wow. This is a really weird map. Like the water, core, and all are all in the same place. A coal and ore. What did I say? I think I didn't say that. Anyways, let's get into it and actually start building now. Wind power is going to be the most useful, especially up over here. This is going to be an interesting place. How do we build up here? All right. Either we can go zigzag across or we can build a massive bridge, which sounds much better to me. We just might as well even go dirt road up here. Too steep, hey? Let's do that. There we go. 
I definitely would not want to be driving on this bridge. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not the one that's driving. It's my sims that will be coming up over here. Uh, there's not all that much happening over here as well, so I could make this an industrial area, but we'll have to see which way the wind is blowing. It's blowing that way. Damn, that's a bit of a shame. Place that there. And we'll start upgrading it later on. How can I build nukes so quickly? I thought we had to study something up. Anyways, I guess we'll learn later on. So, ah, damn, you industrial bastards. Not sure where I'm supposed to place you. I'll build these houses up around here. We'll create a nice suburban area and water. Now, I'm really hoping that I will be able to build something around there. Let's go ahead and maybe get some curvy roads. Okay. And let's try our luck. I'm, I'm not, yeah, I don't really have my fingers crossed. It ain't gonna work. So we've got to settle for this over here. Yeah, that's gonna be good enough. People should start coming in. Hopefully cheetah speed is working, it is. If the time goes up by two minutes every bit, that's all good. So, now of course our people are going to be pooping soon. How many people do we have at the moment? A grand total of 12. Anyone coming over here to the left? No, no one's that crazy. So it's nice to see the beginnings though. I'd love to maybe build up something crazy like a tunnel over here or something oh here we go we can have our own roller coaster ride okay that's pretty cool but I don't have eight thousand dollars to spend so I'm not gonna do that we're gonna wait up a little bit what I will do is I'll create some nice estates around here Nice little squared off roads. Something like so. Of course, the houses do get deleted, but it eventually means that there'll be more around here, which is a good thing. And over on that side, hopefully, we are producing enough power. Although, wind power is one of the worst things that you can really get. See these guys' names Roland O'Neill. And no, I did not get any of the DLC that the game has. It's, that's just crazy to get. $10 for some airships in your city. Definitely not worth it. I don't even want to support EA with that idea. Although I must give them credit for improving the game continually. I could have just forgotten it and moved over into the next project. So I'm sure they already have. So I'm just gonna, I'm not going for just massive size. I want something unique. That's what we want. And I'm not sure where we should place this. What the hell is that? Okay, you're just driving around on grass as you do. There's a very curvy roads over there. Is that a railway system though? Yeah, I think that's a railway system, isn't it? Alright. Maybe. Oh, mate. If I was able to place him there. That'd be brilliant. So, ah, are we going to, okay, maybe a bit around over here. Nice little slot for you. Let's go try something out. Okay. Nope. That ain't going to work. This is a very challenging map. We could place you right at the start. All right, maybe just over here. Here we go, right on top. There we go. That's what I'll do. So we'll go back down to Kirby Roads. And we'll place him there. Our Lord Mayor. I wanted to place him down on the southern side, but I guess that ain't gonna work. So that's, of course, I place him there because it'll improve the happiness with all the additions there. I don't really want to name our city. It's rather original. That's a decent view. 
what I could do is add a nice little park over here as well. So, ooh, we are running into water problems. Oh no, sewage problems, right? Righto. So, what we're gonna have to do is I think three-way roads are the way to go, aren't they? Three-way intersections, so. Nothing that's four ways, because that's going to take way too long. Let's go ahead and build a sewerage system. So our people stop complaining. Interesting placement, but I guess the road isn't straight, or is it? Got rail over here as well. So commercial. Right. Well, if they can come up over here, that wouldn't be too bad. Just get out of the clouds way. All right. And then we'll place industry over here. So that way the people will have to go through commercial, which is the way the game works. Unless they've changed it because to, people aren't actually going to look out for commercial. They have to drive through it pretty much to go to it. If they go through a commercial building and area with it, then they'll stop off. But if they don't have it there, then they aren't going to do nothing. So, we're starting to make some good amounts of money. It's time we got a clinic. Before we do, go do that. Uh, actually, no, no. Let's not raise taxes. Let's get a bond for $25,000. Beautiful. That's costing us way too much money. So, I'll place this. I want to place a park over here. Alright, I know what I'm going to do. Let's go back to roads. I, oh, god damn. I added all these people to Steam, and now it's really annoying. I just want to play offline. And I, obviously, there's some way that you can do it, but I just never spend enough time in Origin to actually care about changing all these settings. I don't think anyone really plays as much on Origin. It's either Battlefield or SimCity. And that's all I've got going for them. Place a clinic right over there. Now, what do you want? Unemployment crisis. I guess that's a that's a much better crisis to have than uh, not enough workers, though. Right, so we'll just place these industrial buildings here for the moment. Got this whole area to play around with as well. With some really nice green trees. Actually, they might have added or given us the ability to build singular trees, I'm pretty sure. It's what they had before. Here we go, if we go to nature. Is this new? I don't remember the ponds. Maybe it's just me. We had plant forests and clear forests. I thought we had the ability to plant singular trees as well. There we go, this is gonna look nice. Does that cost us money as well? 50? Okay. We completely wrecked his view, but actually that would look rather nice. Okay. It reminds me of uh, what was Jefferson's building or house that he lived in. I really should know this, shouldn't I? Just to impress all you American viewers. God damn, I really should know. Anyways, it's got a nice view. That's what we're going with. So, back over here. We should all be hiring. I guess I've got way too many people over here. All the moments. Why are you unhappy for? You should be making a lot of profit, as it says. You are sick. That was some pretty chilled out music. Okay. So next off, we've got 5,000 residents to worry about. A closer look at all of this. It's like there should be another city over here. It's completely glitched out. There's another road here. 
I guess there's still really basic issues with the game, which I find amusing. I like the uh, the challenge of this though. It'd be pretty interesting to check out the leaderboards, wouldn't it? Uh, anyways, we should go ahead and we'll go with the low density. Actually, that low density street. We're gonna have to demolish that, aren't we? Surprised that road could stretch out that far. It's rather steep. And I will send you. Oh, that's too steep. What if we did something like that? There we go. Make it like really zigzaggy. Bring these guys down here. There we go. Look at that. It's really well done. There is new content in this region. Click OK to update your game. These are the perils of an always online game, isn't it? It's, I'm going to have to click OK. Hopefully that does not screw up the recording. Let's just click OK. Oh, come on now. All right. Well, we're going to have to go out. I'm really hoping it's saved because... Oh, OK. Oh, well, let's keep playing then. Oh, always online games. They really know how to tie your knickers in a twist. Anyway, let's go speed things up, back up. And... There's a plane just... Or a helicopter zooms by. As you do. Let's go with industry over here. And... We might as well just... Pop down a lot of industry here. And then this side will place all housing. I think that's pretty good. So we'll just go with dirt roads and get square roads. So on these sides, actually let's just try to create them parallel. Something like so, that seems pretty good. And then we'll create a centerpiece circular road here. I'm even any good at gradients. Alright. Go from here to here. Angle too sharp, you say. I just want to create a nice little roundabout. Nothing too massive. Not too unappealing. It needs to be symmetrical and all that good stuff. That's good enough. Okay. It's more like an Illuminati symbol. So let's go and join everything back up together. At least join this up. Alrighty. That's good enough. Now we'll join these guys up. So over here, we're just going to create a lot of houses as the sun comes out. Alright, there's no doubt we're going to run into problems. There's still workers that are needed. So there's no doubt there's going to be people that are coming up here. Just have some random commercial buildings around just to give us a bit more money. I don't want to build any gambling house. I'm pretty sure there's no extra city specializations either. Nothing too special at least. Although I've heard that they've improved the gambling. So that's a big plus. So that was quite broken. But we're not really going for anything too spectacular here. Apart from the view. Which is looking quite nice. Quite weird with that massive bridge over there. It's good enough. Also we could probably place some buildings over here right on top. That'd be a nice challenge trying to get a road around here. Maybe place the big bend right on top. But it seems like we're doing quite well. There's still workers that are going to be needed, so. All right, so they demand medium wealth. Go ahead and place a couple of parks down, shall we? 
Maybe just some, I don't know, plazas maybe? Or plazas and medium wealth, uh, high wealth, sorry. So we'll go with the colorful path part. Yep. We'll place that right over. Somewhere where it's gonna have maximum effect. Right over here. There we go. So that's raised the wealth of the area, or the land value, by quite a bit. If we check out... Wrong thing. Here we go. Building densities, no happiness. Here we go. Land values. So of course, you don't want to really live near the industrial buildings that pollute everything up. Thankfully, the wind's blowing down to us. We also got a fair amount of money. We're doing quite well fiscally, although this game is really easy when it comes to money. Not like you're going to be losing any of it. And we left this area because I'm pretty sure there's a bit of ore. Actually, right over here as well. So we'll dig this up. So we'll like connect this road, but that's going to be for the next episode. Hopefully you guys are going to be enjoying this little series. It'll only be about six or so episodes until the next patch and then we'll see what new they bring out but I haven't really changed all that much so far I'm really looking forward to being able to build bridges and overpasses so be able to actually control how high we go up and all of that we're a bit congested over here it would probably help if we could bring this road down but that's going to be impossible isn't it especially with the square road <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to know. Oh, here we go. And that's going to demolish a bit of these buildings around. But could work. It's just too steep at the moment. But if this works, that's going to be brilliant. I'm actually going to take that risk and just... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Nice. And people are already starting to use it. Alright, well, we'll worry about the road problems a little bit later on. Seems like things are looking good. This pillar is right in the middle of the road, so that's no doubt going to cause a bit of traffic. Well, it should, but it's not. But <laughs> until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll be back with some more in Granite Canyon or River or whatever it's called. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>